L is for the way. At Pet Fix Club, we want to make owning a pet the best it can possibly be for you and the one you love. Enjoy personalised online pet care at PetFixClub.com. Start your free trial today. Love your pet? Join the club. But this week, just because it's something that's been very much on my mind, um, I, I thought it would be appropriate just to do a one-to-one where I pass on my thoughts to you about something that's really, I think, very significant. Um, and um, what I'm talking about is um, it's not quite there. We're not quite at the seven o'clock, but I'll get there in a second. Um, so um, anyway, so here we go. The, what, what motivated me this week was I was actually at the Pet Fix warehouse and um, Finney, one of, one of, one of the um, folk works there, said to me, Pete, do you know what, what's, what's, what's happening about rapeseed fields? I didn't realise they were so dangerous. And um, he said to me, I, I don't think they really are, are they? What's the story? And um, basically what, what he highlighted to me was something that I, had, that I hadn't come across. Well, I actually had seen it flashing across my own social media feeds. I'd seen this, this thing here, which I'm, I'm going to put up my, on, my, on my thing here so you, I'll show you what it was. Hold on a second. This thing coming up, right? Oh, it's all backwards, so you can't actually see that. It's backwards. But it basically, it was a picture of, of, um, of a, rape, a rapeseed field, and below it, it said, um, rapeseed warning, um, and, and big stark letters um, saying, rapeseed field warning, dog owners beware, you know? Um, and it said things like, um, rapeseed is extremely poisonous for dogs. And it quoted what were apparently reputable sources, saying things like, if ingested, rapeseed can cause hemolytic anemia, blindness, damaged nervous system, digestive disorders and breathing problems, all of this stuff. Uh, and, and the thing is that I know as a vet that that doesn't happen. Like, I've been a vet for over 30 years now, and I've never once seen any issue with rapeseed, linked to rapeseed, never once. Um, despite the fact that, you know, obviously, like everywhere just now, rapeseed fields have become much more... Much more um, uh, widespread. Um, rapeseed oil is a, is a really healthy type of vegetable oil. Um, it's got many health benefits um, and we may not like to see sort of monoculture fields of yellow which you know sometimes are quite a strong smell and it can look almost a little bit intrusive sometime um, but here now somebody is saying that they're actually really dangerous for our pets. Um, this is very very worrying for people. So what happened was somebody made the initial Facebook post and it went viral. Um, so it had over 60,000 shares over a short number of days uh, and lots of community um, Facebook groups, they were sharing it and um, many, many owners were saying, oh, I didn't know that, oh, this is terrible. Um, and basically what happened was it was fake news, it's not true, and it was misinformation that was being widely shared. Um, I've no doubt that for the company concerned, you know, they got great coverage. Um, uh, and um, in fairness to them, I just saw that this evening, just before I started this, I saw they've actually posted an edit on their original post. Um, and, well, about time too, because it's, it's not only a little bit wrong, it's very, very wrong. And it's upset a lot of people and given a lot of people misinformation. And the problem with misinformation is that once it goes in, it's very hard to get out again. And so a lot of people are going to be left with this misguided view that rapeseed is dangerous for dogs. And the thing is that it isn't. Now, so what is the story? Well, I, I suppose the story is that it's accurate at one level, in a sense that if a dog ate a whole bunch of rapeseed, if a dog um, went into a rapeseed field and started munching away on the yellow uh, flowers and the stems and the, and the leaves they chomp 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 if they ate loads of that stuff well yes they would suffer some um, adverse consequences but basically dogs aren't going to do that so the the the, the, um, the reported side effects are taken from ruminants that do eat lots of um, vegetation and if they eat lots of that sort of vegetation and I mean a lot of it then some of those side effects can happen um, but that's not going to happen with dogs and and the other thing is it is also true that there have been some individual case reports um, of dogs that have had reactions um, linked to rapeseed. But, uh, you know, and so, so what happens is people see, see a photograph, like there's a dog, here's a picture, okay, of a dog that suffered a reaction 
um, to, 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 to rape seed. Or, but when you read the details of what actually happened in that particular instance, um, basically the dog, <laughs> dog had been running through a field of rape seed for, for like an hour and a half or something. And by the time the dog came out of the rapeseed field, because the dog had got away from their owners and they were just charging around the place, by the time it got out of the rapeseed field, it was covered in yellow pollen from head to tail. It was a yellow dog. Went in, a brown dog came back, a yellow dog. Um, and so that dog, that dog then um, suffered irritation around its eyes, as, as you saw in the photograph. Um, but like, you know, if you cover any dog in any kind of pollen, you're going to get some kind of irritation or allergic reaction. That's just common sense. Um, so basically, um, when I, when I, when I, when, when I was after talking to Vinny and realizing that this misinformation going around, I did a bit of my own research. And so I contacted, uh, you know, the various databases that I work with when I'm doing research for pet fix to make sure that the, that the information that we share is really properly trustworthy. And then after doing all that, I could find no mention anywhere of toxicity, uh, to, 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 to rapeseed. So I then called the, um, the, the, the veterinary poison information, um, uh, it's called the Veterinary Poison Information Service, which is the UK, basically the pet information helpline. The, the point, the, 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 um, so what, where basically what vets do, if they have a crisis of any kind and they suspect poisons involved, they contact the Veterinary Poison Information Service. And this service then has a massive database of all reported incidents of, of poisonings and what you should do for each poisoning. So vets use this as a, as a, as a source if they have a problem with poisoning or suspected poisoning. So I, I contacted um, the, the head of services there, Nicola Robinson, Dr. Nicola Robinson, and she actually gave me a statement which I'm going to read out to you because it really sums up what I felt myself from my own research. So what she says is this, the majority of dogs remain well after coming into contact with the rapeseed although ingestion may cause mild gastrointestinal upset. Remember that dogs don't ingest, but if they did, mild gastrointestinal upset might result. For more severe signs to occur, such as the ones in various social media posts, a very large amount would need to be eaten. From our data, rapeseed poisoning mainly occurs in grazing animals, especially ruminants, who have had access to the crop over many days or weeks. Um, Skin reactions resembling burns can occur in dogs, but this is rare and does not affect every dog who runs through rapeseed. It's very important to put this in perspective and for owners not to worry on duly after reading social media posts, which are not evidence-based and have no data to back up their claims. So that's it in a nutshell. You should not be worrying about rapeseed fields and your dogs. It is not a concern. It's an example of social media gone wrong, I'm afraid. And it's a reason why I'd say to people, if you want to find out the truth about anything like this, then contact me. And that's why I set up Pet Fix Club in the first place. Um, and you can do, you can contact me very easily indeed. Um, all you do is go to Pet Fix Club, uh, click on Ask a Vet and send a question. And I'll, I'll look at your question and I'll get back to you, usually within the hour. Um, and I mean, it's not just... I mean, often people use this with questions about their pets, but, you know, I'm happy to answer any question at all about anything to do with pets, uh, not just your own individual pet, but issues like this. And what I give you is information that's data-based, that's evidence-based, and I can back it up. Um, uh, and, you know, um, that's really what I'm all about, and that's why I've set up Pet Fix in the first place. So, really, that's, that's it. It's a fairly short uh, um, chat today. And I just wanted to make that clear. Rapeseed field, rape fields are not a problem for your dogs. They're not toxic to dogs. Um, and it's not something you should be concerned about. Carry on walking your dogs past those yellow fields. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. And thank you very much for tuning in. L is for the way. At Pet Fix Club. We want to make owning a pet the best it can possibly be for you and the one you love. Enjoy personalised online pet care at PetFixClub.com. Start your free trial today. Love your pet? Join the club.